We're at the National Farm Machinery Show. It's day number one. We're at McFarland Manufacturing and talking about the roller crimper. Joining me is Aaron Fassler. And Aaron, uh, yeah, did you give yourself a new title we're setting this up or you just got some new work to do? Well, we've got we've got a new working title, our principal engineer. Um, so we'll, we'll see how that goes. So tell us about this roller crimper. A lot of guys, the show's only been open for a few minutes and people are starting to take a look at it and say, okay, where does this fit? Yeah, I've been wondering about that. Yeah, so it's uh, it's actually a little bit of an old technology, uh, the uh, spiral reel, uh, dura reel, that we what we call it. Uh, it's kind of been it's been around for a long time, uh, but we're we're repurposing it as a as a as a new new tool, new feature, uh, using it to roll down and and crimp cover crops. So the first thing I look at it says, do you have to push it or do you pull it or how does it work? Well, actually, you can you can do both with it. Uh, you can uh, do rear mount. Or you can do front mount uh, if you want to pull your pole or a, a three-point planter on the back. Uh, so it's uh, it's versatile that way. So what are our widths? Uh, right now we've got a six-row thirty and a twelve-row thirty folding. And as you look at that, this got some other unique features because I thought to, to switch it around to go from push to pull, you just flip the hitch around and you said, no, there's there's other complications that we want to make sure there. One of them is an area that uh, well it doesn't it doesn't bind on the bearings. Right. Yeah. So one of the one of the unique features that we had to to, to design on this tool was uh, a guard to uh, prevent wrapping around the bearings. That's that's a that's an issue with trying to use an existing machine. Um, so through our development, we came up with a guard uh, that that prevents that, and it's it's been working really well in, in all kinds of cover crops, cereal rye, and uh, you know some of the some of the smaller ones as well. So is there a certain size cover crop we have to uh, use it on, or we can use it for any? Uh, you can use it for any. Uh, we've got customers rolling, crimping, uh, immature cereal rye that's maybe 18 inches tall. Um, and we've got guys running uh, six foot tall. Uh, so it, it, can go, it can go through a lot. We looked at it originally and thought it was pretty heavy, and then we saw the, the uh, weight require, or the weight of the machine. It's actually pretty light. Yeah, so compared to the competitors that are out there, uh, we are a little bit lighter, uh, but our blades are beveled. Uh, so we don't need near the amount of weight to get the crimp, and that beveled edge can get down through a really thick mat of, of cover crop and get all of it crimped, uh, which, which is a key, key part uh, to crimping. You wanna, get, you wanna get a full crimp, you wanna get everything crimped across the width of the machine. Uh, so you don't get anything spring back or, or growing back. Is there an ideal speed to run this as it relates to planting? You can run this tool uh, between six and nine miles an hour uh, with seven, six to seven being the sweet spot. And there's also, if you want to use it some other times of the year, you could use it to knock down corn fodder. Yeah, that's, that's true. Like I said before, this is, uh, it's a little bit of older technology. Uh, so you can go into fall standing corn stalks knock them down, break them apart, uh, get that decomposition uh, going over the winter months. Uh, you come back in the spring when the, uh, the corn stalks are, are dry, it'll, it'll really blow them apart if you, got, if you got some good dry weather going. Anything else people ought to know as they take a look at this uh, developing product for you? Uh, well, you know, with, with the aggressiveness of the blades, one of the, one of the key features that we're, we're trying to promote is you can actually incorporate your cover crop seeds in the fall. So. Uh, put them out with a spinner spreader or, or air cart and uh, just lightly till them in uh, like some of the seeds need and you've got a you've got a dual purpose machine. If people want to know more do you have this on a website? Yeah we sure do it's uh, McFarlaneMFG.com. I've been visiting with Aaron Fassler with McFarlane Ag as they check out the latest here at the National Farm Machinery Show.